less than 15 differential building. Now, in this particular case, we've got the same function, and we can consider is it differentiable at this particular point here? And there, well, it's, it's, it's pretty obvious that it won't be because if it's, if it's not continuous, it can, we can't find a gradient to, to that. So this is going through, and we'll, we'll differentiate this function using the, uh, the, uh, the quotient rule. And so f dash of our u here is going to be x squared minus 4, and our v is x minus 2. So the u is 2x, and the v is equal to 1. So f dash x is going to be v the u. So multiplying those two together, we're going to get 2x squared minus 4x. And then subtract this one, we're going to get minus x squared plus 4 all over x minus 2 all squared. So the top line simply becomes x squared minus 4x plus 4 over x minus 2 all squared. And that gives me x minus 2 all squared all over x minus 2 all squared. Now, you may be tempted to say, well, that's just going to be equal to 1. But you can only cancel that, you can cancel those two, which equals 1, provided x is not equal to 2. Right? So yes, this, is, this function is differentiable all the way along there. In fact, that's just a straight line. That's remember from the first one, the function x is equal to, in here, x plus 2. So the gradient of that is 1. So yes, all along there it's fine. But here, it can't be equal to 1 at x equals 2. So we prove that by um, analytical means. And obviously from the, from the graph we can see that you can't draw a tangent at that particular point there because it's not defined. All right, now, what we did in the, in the uh, uh, previous lesson was show this function is not continuous at x equals 0. Uh, and obviously we can, we can see that that's not going to be differentiable either because we simply can't draw uh, a tangent uh, at that particular point. But we're going to have a look at this. We, we'll differentiate this as before and see what happens. That's equal to x to negative 1. We differentiate that. Minus 1 comes down. Reduce that by 1. And we get minus 1 over x squared. So again, it's, it's obvious from analytical means that this will not be differentiable at x equals 0 because it's not defined here at x equals 0 for the gradient function. Right, and this is example 3. And example 3, in the previous two examples, we found that if it wasn't continuous at a particular point, it wasn't differentiable. In this case here, we can see at x equals 0, this clearly is continuous. It's a continuous function. Um, the absolute value function, because when x equals 0, function x equals 0, there's no problem with that. But at this particular point, it's not differentiable because we don't know whether it's going to be um, have this gradient or that gradient. Now, we can see from the graph now analytically, we can say that the function x is equal to x if x is greater than 0. In other words, f dash x is equal to 1. The values of x are too greater than not. So all along here, the gradient is equal to 1. Now, if the other side, if function x is equal to minus x for x less than 0, so if we differentiate that, we get negative 1. So all along here, the gradient is negative 1. Right? But what happens at x equals 0? What is the gradient at uh, the function at x equals 0. Well, clearly, it could be either. We don't know which one it is. So it's not defined at this particular point. Therefore, we say it's not differentiable at x equals 0. But it, it is certainly continuous. So here we have a function which is certainly continuous all the way, but not differentiable at a particular point.